second isn't it but this is my first official live stream of Zwift ever since I've got the posh setup with the cable that runs in and everything so it's looking pretty good on my screen so this is cut this is still kind of a pilot I'm diving everything in this is the winter now this is what my life is in the <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 12 features I did say so every time there's a watt bomb, and it should have, it should have dung out. Oh, I know why. Hold on. It wouldn't be this live So every time, let's have a look. There we go. I just super chat myself. I should really, oh, I know why I didn't ding Joe, because your super chat was too low. But, every time I get a super chat, I'm gonna try a little watt bomb, which I shouldn't really do, because I've literally just started pedaling. And it would be the worst, it would be the worst thing ever. But basically, you just kind of go for a bit of a sprint and get the, and get the watts up. I'd probably, yeah, 655, that's probably worth two bucks. Thanks, Joe. Making history. First, <laughs> first, first Watt Bomb Super Chat. I know that you've been waiting to do that for quite a long time. So, let me know, hang on, let me have a look. Typical live wire. Are you familiar with Seth Bike Hacks? Yeah, I've, I've heard of him. I remind, I remind you of him. Well, that's very kind. I'm very well. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good day. I think everything is working okay. Please do let me know in the chat 
I've, I have to have a fan on, otherwise I'll literally melt. I gotta, I've really gotta figure out the lighting situation. Because I mean, I'm, I'm pale, but I'm not that pale. KL, what up? How's it going? Okay, so, let me actually get back to it. Okay, so this, this is Zwift. I've done a couple videos about it. You can go and find them. But when the winter comes in Squamish, which is where I live, this is what we've got. Oh, it's Halloween edition. Check it out. Got some pumpkins. Oh, and also, let me just uh, change some camera angles. I've just noticed I've got the bike. So basically, my turbo train is connected to that. And uh, what, what's happening on the screen is affect my turbo trainer. Um, in the top, wait, what, top left, yeah. In the top left of the screen above me, that's the watts that I'm putting out. It's not very much at the moment, but I'm not trying very hard. So that's like the power in the crank set and the RPM. That's how fast my cranks are going round. Hopefully we'll get that up in a little, <laughs> in a bit. And it won't be so pathetic. But let's just change the camera angle here. There we go. Oh! Ho -ho! It's got a skeleton fight. I love the way that the fingers are just like, oh, set, stand up. I love the way that the fingers, because they should be on the drops. If I try a bit harder, maybe you'll go down again. Oh, it kind of, he's kind of swearing at you. Which is great. Okay, what have we got? Now let's go back to the classic. Okay, so there's a skeleton bike. They have like, Swift's got a little Halloween thing going on at the moment. I was hoping that there was going to be a, uh, I could session New York which is the new zone that they've just put up. I'm gonna crank that all the way up to the top, so hopefully I can hear. If I do get a super chat, I've got the sound, sound hooked up to it. So I've just been in Moab for a week. I should really be feeling all the, the amazing benefits of, uh, of coming down to sea level from altitude. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested. Hey Harry, that bike is awesome. It's pretty sick, isn't it? I've got to have the chat on my phone. Oh, I should have got my lap. Next time, I'll get my laptop in, and I can have the chat over there, and I can control Zwift from down here. But uh, yeah, I freaking love this thing. So what happens is, in the in the winter, we get all kinds of snow, right? And it's just the worst. And then. Uh, can't go mountain biking. I mean, you can at the moment, but it's so wet. So miserable outside. So just, I work from home. So I got a little bit of thought, oh, I'll just pop on, do Zwift. And I was like, well, let's try the live stream. See if that one works. Let it snow. No, live wire, no way. I hate the snow so much. <sighs> Harry. Would love to go to Moab, but from the UK it's a bit far. Funnily enough, there were people in Moab. I was meant to go and hang out with them, but I didn't have a chance to. And uh, they're from England. And Thomas, who might still be in the stream, loves Moab and he's from England. And he's been a couple of times. Where's the stiff upper lip? Get out, Joe. <laughs> okay, so this is like, so the route that we're gonna do I'm going to go up to the volcano climb, which uh, it's, it's kind of hard, it's not that hard. It does feel exactly like the climb that you're doing, this thing. That's what's so good about it. But I want to try this, hopefully it'll be a bit interesting. It's going to get way interesting when New York comes around again. So this is Watopia, and they cycle through all the different zones. Where's your helmet? Oh, I'm wearing a helmet. Well, not on me. <laughs> Although I do know people that have gone into the bike shops and said, oh, I've got my turbo trainer. I need a new road helmet. No, it's pretty stable, this thing. No, <laughs> like why? Yeah, you, I, guess, <laughs> I guess you are spamming the jab it. But where's everyone else? Drop in. Where? 
let's get the chats out. Okay, so I'd like to know where everyone's been riding. That'll get me through this nightmare indoor session. I've also got a weird bump on my knee, which I really should get checked out, but maybe I've just always had it. If you saw the video when I was uh, riding in Kaslo with the Lone Ranger, he, uh, oh, I'm really going slow here. <clears throat> uh, he, uh, there was a crash <laughs> that happened. It's, the video is called like riding an airport in Kaslo. And I had a crash and went straight on my knee. And I thought, oh, it's a bit sore, but it might be fine. But now, can't see it, it's down there. I won't give you a full crotch shot. But yeah, it's like a huge bump. Could be anything. <coughs> okay, oh Robert, what's up dog? What are you saying? You should move your vid to the right next to the list over there. When on mobile in landscape. Chat covers your face. Good point, buddy. You don't need to see what's on the other side. Let me not mess this up. Hey, you should be, ah, uh, there we go. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> there we go, how's that? I imagine that's way better. You don't need to see everyone else. To all the people above me, well, above me there, those are real people. And we're riding with them. All those, that huge peloton of people. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Uh, that should be a bit better now. So this is actually a bit of a climb. If you, again, look, look up above me there, Panthers. You can see it says 3%, so that's a 3% gradient. And you can see over there, over there. Wait, over there, yeah. My power went up because it got a bit harder. <sighs> yeah, maybe, I mean, there's quite a few people streaming Zwift. Uh, I really want to do some of the races, but you can't talk when the races are going, because it's like 400, 400 watts or something from the get-go, and you can't talk and breathe. I should have my heart rate monitor on, but I can't find it. <laughs> I normally just take it off immediately and throw it somewhere, and now, now I can't, can't see where it is. What's been going on? Joe, good, we couldn't meet up in Moab, but I love that drone. I just bought Joe's drone. So hopefully now a bunch of my edits will have a bit of drone footage in them. Pretty stoked about that. Uh, RIP on me, yeah, that's fine. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's better, sweet. Dom and Jack, New Zealand, buddy. Someone's just started in New Zealand, hey? Oh, I'm hopefully gonna be able to go back out there in in March. March, I think. That should work. Queenstown, I, I've been there twice. Well, I said that I lived there for seven months. It was the best. Justin Ramsey, what up, Billy? Still a month before I fire up my Zwift for the winter. Never too early for Zwift. Because <laughs> I had the cracked rib which I'm pretty sure has fixed itself now. It's not hurting anymore. Now that's all fixed. I've just been, uh, I was riding it while it was, while it was broken. But riding it, Zwift that is. I really want to get it so you can see the bars. So you can actually kind of figure out what's going on. I guess I need to figure, figure it out. Maybe if I put it lower, the old camera, but we'll figure this out. Uh, don't forget to hydrate. I'm that guy. Boom! I've got one, and I'm not, I've not got just one. I've got two water bottles. But, probably, this is like 750 mil. You'd easily drink that in an hour on this thing. And for those interested, I have one little teaspoon of Gatorade powder in it. Just helps out. Uh, where's your hydration pack? Don't need one, buddy. We're not on that kind of ride. You've just come back from Dubai. Who are you? <laughs> Your comments. You lead an incredible life. Uh, you do come to Blenheim, maybe. Where's Blenheim? Fell MTB rider, sucked. 
Haha, uh, I thought that Biker was asking you to move your frame so you wouldn't have to see your face. <laughs> Maybe he was. Robert, I'm sorry. I have to put up with my face a little bit. Right. So, how I normally. This is like. I'm just gonna ride through, right? Not do anything that exciting. This is just a test to make sure it's all working. Oh, top of the south island. Alright, Dom. Cool. Let's look at this bike. Whoa! -ho -ho! That is actually quite cool. Good job. My avatar's looking good. Who'd have thought? YouTube gaming now has biking. That's not bad. But we're not doing very much here. Okay. 150 is watts. Is normally like the cruising, cruising pedal. So one thing you may have seen, uh, oh jeez, you can never think when you're doing this, because your blood, your blood's just going around so much. Mm. Julia Elliot, she's an English YouTuber. She does mainly crit stuff, but she did a video that was her doing the uh, um, do the FTP test, which I have to do this week. Hopefully, this knee isn't actually a problem. So, I'll give it a go. But your FTP test basically figures out how fit you are. It's like the way to do it. And I, last time I, last year when I came back from Moab, I did one when I came back. So I should really do it again. But, no, it feels a bit funny. This is probably where my knee needs reconstructing or something after that one crash. All right. Uncle's a millionaire, cool. <laughs> oh, so many helmet jokes. I'm wearing a helmet in my avatar. It's there. Justin, do I have the Tron bike? No, mate, I really want it though. But it, it's so much climbing. Isn't it like 50, it's 50,000 meters of climbing, which is a lot. Well, I guess that's 50, well, yeah, no, it's big. It would probably take uh, oh my god, about four months, I reckon. Maybe winter, have we done? For some reason, I've had this account for like two years, but it hasn't kept anything. It's kept my level, but it hasn't kept like the meters climbed on it. <laughs> I don't think it's funny that I've, uh, I've got the skeleton bike, but there are other people still on their normal one. I wonder if they've got annoyed and switched it out. Maybe. <laughs> are those orange bananas on the frame? No, that's uh, it looks like just glow, glow in the dark stuff. Okay, let's get back to this. I need to move, move that camera angle. So I know what's coming up. There we go. Okay. Right, so we're going to do the volcano climb. Wait, we're basically running a volcano. It's so sick. <laughs> and you get those little bonuses as well. See, there's a feather. If I hit that, then I go lighter. So when you're when you're game when you're racing, there is a bit of a a game part to it. I really need to. BV, you did your FTP. What'd you get? Really, the most important thing is your watts per kilo. Right, I think it's, what is it, two and a half is like good. That's what you should be aiming for. And then that's like, uh, I am kind of fit. And then anything up after that is pretty bonus. I think I was like, 253 watts. Jesus. That's your FTP. Brian, are you sure that's right? Oh no, okay. Yeah, what's your watts per kilo? I think mine, I was like 210. 210 a bit, so I'm almost like 2.8, 2.9 watts per kilo. But that was at the beginning last year. So, yeah, I don't think I'd be much better. I haven't been racing or doing any strength stuff. 
or anything like that. 4.1, holy shit, Harry. That's so much. What get you must race? What category do you race in? Oh, Brian, you ignore watts per kilo. No, you need that, mate. That's the, that's the line in the sand. All right, let's actually ride, shall we? I've got this new bike. It's got a weird cassette on it. It's not like anything I've had before. It's super jumpy. It's massive. I don't really know why I got it. I'm not riding in the Alps or anything. But there's definitely some big jumps. Ah. Hey, so, 26 people. It'd be great if you're enjoying this. If you could just leave a like. Go, go leave a like on the stream. If you're, only if you're enjoying it though. It's completely up to you. But the more likes, the better the stream gets pushed out. And yeah, the more people coming while I, uh, while I suffer here. And as I said, a super chat will give you a nice little wop bob. Uh. Woo. So I think we're just gonna start going up and round the volcano now. So I did a stream last year, pedaling up the mountain, and I could talk the whole way up at like 160 beats per minute. But, no, not working as well. You're a junior, well there you go. There you go, BB, 2.35. That's solid. Now you just have to aim for two and a half, I think. That's just what someone told me. Oh, okay, Brian. Go and enjoy the trick or treaters there. Shane Miller, who is Mr. Zwift on YouTube, he's just put out a video that uh, I think the kids had to pedal 100 meters before they got their, their treat. It's pretty harsh. Whew. Jesus, Harry. 5.2. Oh, I need to. I've had a couple of mishaps and hiccups. There was a point where I definitely, definitely cracking 3.4 a couple of years ago. And then yeah, I had an unfortunate injury. Straight back to square one. It does sound like an animal. Maybe doing this live is gonna make me more accountable like, uh, like my man biking. So it's probably, should take me, I don't know, maybe another half an hour? Get up there. Oh, Travis! Recovery beer, here we go! Little whoop bomb! Oh. Woo! Thank you very much, Travis. I will put that to good use. Definitely buy a beer. Oh. Okay. Woof! Now, hopefully, these super chats aren't gonna kill me. Because it could be quite easy to do that. That's <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm going so slow. Okay. You need to up the cadence. 90, I normally try, well, young Harry there will probably tell me. I figure 90, 95 is kind of the magic spinning, spinning RPM. Oh. It's quite hard to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> Woo! Uh, give me, maybe, maybe I'll share my opinion if you're interested. Ask me a question, I'll give you my view. Perhaps, oh! Troll features. Hey, you can't string out these two dollar watt bombs. I'll give you, I'll give you a two dollar. Okay, that's two bucks. Thank you very much for your super chat. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Harry, 90 to 100. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Yeah, Brian, easiest, easiest way to do it. All right, that was per kilo. Needs a bit of weight, I guess. It's hard though. I used to be really fat, like really fat. Like I think I was, we kind of figured it out. It was like 200 pounds. I was like 14 stone. Someone wants to figure that one out. And what, well the biggest thing that helped me lose weight was not eating meat, quite honestly. I still eat fish, which isn't meat. Sorry, France. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I was still like 70, 75, I think, just as I turned. And at that time, I was like trying to train to do the EWSs that I did a few years ago. I just lost like six kilos. That was the fastest way of doing it. And the main difference was I wasn't riding any more than or less. But uh, yeah, cat on meat. I just went. Felt rider. I lost like 30 pounds, two months. Keto and riding. I'm not sure what the keto diet is. I'm, sh I'm sure you'll let me know. But that's great. Good for you. That's such a good. Oh, no beer. Yeah, that was the other thing I did. Uh, definitely didn't have any beer. I was off that big time. All lost it around here. Do you guys notice that? Beer is like definitely a certain type of weight putter on a... Oh. High fat, low carb, okay. That's a... Oh God, Joe, parasites. That's terrible. But you know, it's a... <laughs> I've got a savage shapeworm and uh, it's a great way to stay in shape. For those of you that watch Family Guy. Whew. That 10 speed guy is one of my favorites. <laughs> So why are you riding so much, sir? Well, I have aggressive bowel cancer. It's uh, eating away from me and I don't have long to live, but it's a great way to stay in shape. All right, bottom of the climb. I'm pretty sure. What are you doing? Good. High occasions. Oh no, too high, too high. Okay. Uh, BV, that's a great story. 285, started riding, dropped down. That's so good, very inspirational. Look who's back, Brian Vaughan. I mean, you don't need to diet, I don't gain weight. Yeah, you don't gain weight easily, because you're young. And also you're pushing 4.1 watts per kilo in race road bike. Like, I swear, roadies, just so easily, you can shed it. Because you're just constantly doing something. Like mountain biking. You're stopping, looking around, probably finish with a beer most of the time. But race, like, look at me now. I haven't stopped pedaling for like half an hour. You don't do that in, in mountain biking. Random questions at Paul. Okay. Blondes, brunettes, redheads. Or as long as they have a head, I don't care. Oh, the latter, no. Uh, well, my girlfriend is, she's got blondie, blondie browny hair. So the hair on my girlfriend's head. How about that? Well, I like that though. Keeps things fresh. I do feel a bit narcissistic saying, ooh, ask me what I think. But we gotta talk about something. It's a turbo trainer. Ooh. I also have a nice cliff bar just lining me up. But I need to keep going for an hour first before I have that. Giant or specialized? Trying to settle an argument, asking for a friend. Honestly, I think specialized. Because giant just don't put the effort into cycling as a whole. Like specialized, they have teams, they support schools, 
Like they do good advertising campaigns. Giant, it's like, they're the biggest bike company in the world. Like, only 30% of the bikes they make are giant bikes. Oh God, let's change the deck. So I guess they just, they have different priorities, but why doesn't Giant have Aaron Gwynn? Why don't they have the fastest cross country racer? Why don't they have uh, the best enduro team? I don't know. I, don't, I know nothing about road racing. They probably got the best road team. No, they don't, do they? So, I don't know. Specialized just do more for cycling, I think. Stram or Shimano? I've got to say Stram. I know Shimano, like, it's reliable, it'll always work, but like a lot of people always go on about like here, these. Like my SRAM brakes, like I've never had a problem. They've always been great, I prefer the feel. So like I've got nothing wrong and I just kind of want to stick with the same thing after a while. So it'll, it'll probably work. Uh, where do you stop for a coffee and a chocolate bar? Fuck, I don't know. I do have a little clip bar here. No coffee machine. Oh, wouldn't that be a great live stream? Like halfway through, just pull over, <laughs> start have a cup of tea. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Next time. Phil. Oh, one sec. Let me. Okay. Hey, Paul, new subscriber. Tell me your story. Why did the Brit move to Canada? Well, I was first here four years ago. Uh, yeah, four. Well, four and a bit now. And uh, I, can't, I took like a year off. I used to work at Dirt Magazine in London, in London. So I kind of sacked it off and just went mountain biking in New Zealand and Whistler for a year. Then I ended up getting a job at Pink Bike at the end of that. Went with Pink Bike from Europe, lived all over the place. Wales, went around Europe for a bit. Stayed in Morsey, lived there for winter. I just didn't like it. Nothing was ever as good as Canada. So, uh, so I asked if I could move, and they said, "Yeah." I'm really, I'll be forever grateful for that. And uh, yeah, now I'm here. This is my house. I've got a pretty good life. I just started. I left Pink Bike. I've just started my own business, Creator Co, where I do some media consulting, some media production. Uh, obviously, this channel, I guess, is part of it. And then I work with some of the other YouTubers as well. Uh, working on their sponsorships and stuff. Just had our first one with Gemini Lights over on Josh, Daily MTB Riders channel. Go and check it out. So yeah, that's my story. I'm actually gonna be going back to the UK on the 24th of next month, till the 8th. So go and see my dog, <laughs> see my mum for a bit, and go ride. Looking to meet up with a few people, do some things. Really want to go and ride that slab that EMBN rode up because I live I live come from Bath. And I've always wondered if you could ride down that slab, and loads of people do. It's like not a big deal, so I want to go back and ride down it. Satisfied, 14-year-old Paul. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, MTBR said, uh, "The rain here and my and my kids' activities can." Killing my weight loss. But hey, you gotta find find the time. It's like, there's a lot of the times where I think I'm just procrastinating and then I just go, oh, I just need to go and do this. Like, could be even the dishwasher. And I just think like, why am I not just going and doing it? So that's like my new outlook lately. I've been listening to some David Dobrik uh, podcasts and he had that revelation as well. Specialised or overpriced? I haven't actually looked. I don't know, I don't think they are, are they? Who knows? But that money gets back into cycling. Okay, every giant you've had is amazing, that's cool, fair enough. Yeah, cool, yeah. Great. Phil, thanks for the insight, very interesting. Hey, thanks for popping around, Phil. That's great. Uh, remember, whoa, we're getting pretty tired now. 
So if I got a super chat and a sprint, we uh, take it down. I've got to figure out a better way of doing that because who knows, maybe one day I'll get 10 in a row, which will be great for support. I appreciate it because the classic reasons, whatever. Oh, and uh, yeah. Oh, maybe I can beat my PR. All right, come on, let's do this. Focus now. Gotta be that time on the screen. It'll be that time, everyone's gonna hit like. That'll be the trade-off. Come on. Jeeps go very steep. They're cooler. Go on. Hey, came first. Evolution. Dogs. Come on. Yes, yeah, the trainer. Come on. Blue. Come on. Ah, uh, I beat it. That was really hard. Oh, I got mid pack on. Swift. That's ridiculous. I never come mid pack. Oh, whoa. I'm actually really pleased. That's right. Uh, fuck. Uh. 
Back, back to it. Apple over Samsung. 275 versus 29. 29 all day. Windows or iOS? Uh, well, iOS for my day to day. But can't, nothing is like integrated. Like Zwift isn't optimized for up iOS. And it's super annoying when you're trying to do this. We do the EWS Challenger. Oh yeah. That's why I'm on this. That's one of the goals. I also want to try the BC Bike Race. And that'd be a completely different thing. Like I'm so bad at riding days on end. So yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have this. <laughs> I need to get a better fan set up. Does anyone? They don't have a turbo trainer. I know of like a good fan for it. I've just got the big one, but it sucks up too much stuff. What have we got from the movie? Boosty by is cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Mm. I love trip bars. Give me a bit for later. Ah. Oh, God, I'm making a mess. Oh. Oh, there we go. Industrial fan from Lowe's. Wonder if you could rig up generators on the street. Hey, huh? Yeah, I, I, for a minute I thought that was ridiculous. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Maybe Seth could figure it out. And all of his electrical wisdom. Ah. Uh, whoa. So what do you guys think of Rift? Like, where do you live in? Now, uh, you probably live somewhere that isn't as afflicted by the cold as me. Maybe you do. Maybe you're down the road. <laughs> but, yeah, this is when I first did this two years ago. I got so fit. And I only had Rift like before the season for a couple months. And I followed the power training plan for that long and the gains were just so clear. I didn't really do it last year. It didn't snow until just after Christmas Day last year. And then I got sick. So I don't know. Swift never really kicked off. <sighs> I'm glad it's working though. No one's saying, ah, oh, can't see, it's all glitchy, the sound audio is bad. Mm. <sighs> and I don't know if anyone else noticed, probably not, but I passed 15,000 subscribers. Just this, just this week gone. And I'm, at, I'm so pleased. I, I had this, when I first started, I mean I had the warm-up bike video and everyone went crazy for it. And I got like 3,000 subscribers in like a few weeks off that thing. Then obviously they weren't real fans, not like you guys. <laughs> and it kind of dropped off for a bit and I didn't really know what to do because I was working pink bike making videos there. So it wasn't that big a deal. But then Whistler started and that season started and then things kind of kicked off for a bit. And then I was went to Brian. That week I had down there, was, it was so much fun. I really did just want to ride with him. 
making videos is fun. But like, I really like the dude. He's a, he's a buddy. So I was really stoked with that. And then later I've had some other good videos and here I am, like 15,000 subscribers. 15,000 people have gone, yes. I want to hear more of what this guy's doing. And it's quite humbling. I'm really grateful. I got some videos coming up. Like the ones I've made down in Moab. So pleased with them. Maybe not the one now on Navajo Rocks. That was just uh I'm going to make a video with my girlfriend Erin. That was so much fun. It's not going to be a hero video. But I went off in session Captain Ahab with uh, Crashing Dad. That was sick. Here's a shred of that dude, Shane, Crashing Dad. <sighs> Almost deleted the entire video. <laughs> Then I got confused about my SD card slots in, in, uh, in my camera. But thanks to Joe at Trail Features and Eric at BCPOV. That was a snot. I don't know, did anyone want to see the snot rocket that I blew off of during that climb? That's pretty savage. I'll put it up later. It was gross. But yeah. And then I went back to Slick Rock. And that's the video. I can't wait to put that together. Okay. Trail features. Joe, you know that you want to do all this. Let's do it. I'll ride with you every time you go on drift. And that is the promise. We'll chat Discord, call each other. Yeah, man. And I know you have all the stuff. Go and plug it in now. There's nothing holding you back. And I know that excuse that you just thought of. No. Go and do it. Oh. Right, e bike on a trainer. <laughs> yeah. So, there is something you can do. On, uh, on Zwift, there's like a, it's basically you make your, you make yourself really light on your weight and then your, what's the kilo obviously changes and then that's, that's called like, there is a whole federation, well not federation, there's a whole thing called Zada, I think, like WADA, that, uh, goes around and verifies everyone's profiles on Zwift when they race. So if all of a sudden you start winning races, you'll get disqualified for cyber doping. I guess that's what it's called. Whoa! Where's this? This is a new area. Normally I've stopped by now. <laughs> on this route, I just do the climb and then coast home and then that's it. But really, you've got to be like these are the times just to do this easy with easy watts, just cruising along, get the base miles in. There you go, Sw Swift Anti Doping Agency, Zada. Yeah, I thought that was it. Cheers, Harry. Yeah, I don't think I'm pretty sure there's like. Uh, Pretty, pretty sure there's not any evidence to say that base miles does you good versus intervals. I don't probably know. But I think you need a bigger base and then you build the tower, isn't that? Isn't that what they say? Here we go. How much does it cost to get train ends whipped? Is it worth it? Good question. I think the benefit to your health and your improved cycling, like it's so worth it. Like anything that actually improves your health, it's always worth it in the long run. 
like nicer food, you know, not eating shitty burgers all the time and all that jazz, it's always worth it. Holiday trips, worth it. Obviously there's some things that are not worth it, but, so this is like, this is, I do get discounts, as I always say. So this, this trader retails for like 1800 Canadian. Do you do your maths on the translations? But they do. Shane Miller just featured the uh, the kind of mid mid one. I think I'm not sure what the difference is. It's just like a little less fold awayable and uh, well, I don't know. I I wouldn't recommend getting a tire one for sure. Like I've had tire ones. And I had all these dreams of using it loads and smashing the fitness, but really, having a trainer that is just nice to use, you will use it more. So then like, it's a, it's a false economy to uh, just buy the cheapest thing in this respect. And then Zwift is like, again, I get it for free. I work in the media, so they do media stuff. Uh, I think it's 15 bucks. 15 bucks a month. So like Netflix, yeah? Is it? And you get fitter on this than on Netflix. But I'm like, there are a few things that I am really an advocate for. Like genuinely, like I could, I could find fault with all the bikes that I own, right? But Zwift, I just love it, man. It's so good. Yeah, as Harry says, get a Neo or a Kicker. Or I think there's a flux, just as long as it's, uh, um, as long as the cassette is on the trainer, that's the most important thing, for sure. As Harry says, you'll use it more if it's good. Yeah, that's it, Brian writes it, so he doesn't feel dead. It's way better. Ah. So I don't really know what's going to happen now. I might have to open up the, uh, you can change the direction as well, but it's not been working. A cheap trader bike, Chromecast and YouTube. Cheers Gonzo Cat. Yeah. Like, I'm super interested. So like, does anyone binge watch, has anyone binge watched my videos? It's probably just stroking my ego. That's literally why I'm asking. But like, I've binge watched everyone else's. Literally everyone. I have been binge watched. See this app? It doesn't work. That's okay. I'm gonna do the feather thing. The app works for so much stuff. But when it comes to like, I just want to turn around. Turn around. It never works. I don't know why. If someone can shed the light on that. That'd be amazing. Ah, Whoa. This is definitely making it way easier. We should have a heart rate monitor. I used to do everything to heart rate. I thought it was the bee's knees. And I found out about power. Woo! Fat bike on rollers. That's what you want to see, is it? Well, I don't know if that would work. And I did have a fat bike for a bit. I borrowed one from Canyon when I was in Morsi. It's pretty, like, pretty special to get that. And it was really annoying. <laughs> you have to ride it when it's so packed and crisp all the time. I had these dreams of flying into powder and everything. It doesn't work. However, bombing down the ski piece was the most fun. So good. Oh, Dom. Thanks very much for the kind words about my video. Kyle, I am from England originally. I currently live in Squamish in BC. Canada. Yeah, Fab Like and Roll would be so loud. This one is definitely loud. This is a... Uh, this train is a couple years old. Apparently they've made it a lot quieter, I don't know. 
think Fat Bird and Rose are safer than riding a road bike. Maybe. I have been hit by a car before. I went straight over the bonnet and landed like, sat down. So lucky. It was like the bike was trash. Completely smashed to bits. I was riding around London for you. Okay, really have to keep going more, more than an hour on this. Uh, I want to try and do a different route. When we get a, when it gets to the point where um, you can turn and stuff, I'll take a different route. See what we do. Ah. The moment you can do New York again, I'll do another stream. Because that's what it's about. Do 100k? Get out. <laughs> How much have we done? 26. No way. You're insane. Special that route anyway. Hours on a very on a trainer. That's insane. Thumbs out. That's horrible. Uh, Ryan, I got my channel name because I can be a bit of a dick <laughs> in my own words, and I just really like. I try and make myself accountable and I think by filming myself struggle and fail and having that camera on makes me do more stuff like I've done way way more trails in this year than I ever have on and off camera and I think just having that goal of you know everything on my channel is about progression I mean, doing better and getting Im and improving. Like it's it's making me become a better mountain biker. And punter, like you generally have tourists, like the guys that come up in bike parks and they sh they strap on the pads on the outside of their jeans and whatever, sunglasses in the in the helmet. No, I'm going to do somewhere different. Come on. Uh, Alright, we'll go that way. Uh, yeah, and, but it's, it's not that they're Joey's or whatever. Jo the Joey is just like someone being an idiot. You know what I mean? But a punter is someone that just turns up and really they're just there to try. And they don't really care <laughs> if they fail or anything. And, I'm a bit of a punter on a mountain bike, really. No, Brian and Joey is not a punter, I've decided. And Joey is the person that stands on top of the, the jumps and stuff, but the punter is just the one that's giving it a go. Like, when I used to work at the Queenstown Bike Park, I used to just be amazed at... Uh, amazed at the people that came and just tried. It was nuts. They just turn up, they're on a holiday, and then they would just and they would just go downhill mountain biking. It's nuts. Uh, 
Uh, I have been. I used to ride when I was young. I rode, you know, all the time. Rode BMX. And then mountain biking and downhill. And I stopped when I was like 20. Just before my 21st birthday. Because I was at my university and everyone, like, just. Everyone just left university basically. Oh shit. It's a climb. Bollocks. Oh, it's just a little bit. I'll just go slower. Uh, yeah, and everyone, everyone that rode left, and there was no one left to ride with, and I got interested in drinking, and playing darts, and playing pool. I used to love darts, and pool. Still do. And, uh, yeah, I just sold my bike, and then I didn't ride. And then I obviously got fat. And the rest of it. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Hold on. Oh, that's so slow. It's pretty steep, this is 9%. Okay. Um, back to it. And then, yeah, I just kind of one day went, oh, I'm just going to start riding again to Paul BNX. I worked for a pharmaceutical company at the time, and I just stopped. I was like leaving to go to another job, start working at Dirt Magazine. And I would just stop, stop working and go and ride instead. So, and that was 2000, 2011. And in 2012, I did the Meg Ravel Arch. Well, tried to, failed. I got taken out in the qualifier. I'd love to go back and do that again. Maybe this year. Oh. What's your oyster? So, yeah, I guess seven years. Well, punters, that's a clean hour. So we'll call that a day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the super chats. Those that gave super chats. And I'll see you in another stream. See you later. Have a nice evening.